Hi, I'm Beth O'Reilly and it's the month of October and we're inspired by design. Today we're going to be making a modern sympathy tribute, a cascade, and what's going to make this so special and wonderful is that we're using a foliage that I really love to use in everyday designs and in sympathy work and it's called Halla Foliage. It's very much like a flax. You can strip it, you can bend it, and we're going to be doing lots of fun techniques with this to make a very modern casket piece. I'm using a casket saddle from Floral Everfresh, and I love these casket saddles because your foam fits on, there's a reservoir for your water, and you, it's just as easy as clicking in the saddle for your oasis to settle. So I am going to start this design exclusively with the Halla foliage. I'm going to do a little bit of stripping. I want lots of different lengths of Halla, and this is going to cascade down. We want to give a little bit of movement to the cascade, so I'm going to be adding lots of smaller pieces. And Halla also has a stiffness to it, which you can uh, do some really fun bending and twisting. So I'm going to actually start kind of building a little bit of some modern caging with our Halla foliage. I can also use the whole Halla. I tend to like to try to get a point before I insert. I think it just holds into the foam better. So we can do fun, fun lines by folding it over. and then reinserting it on the other side. And we're going to mass out a lot of this stripped halla down here at the base because this is going to create our wonderful cascade. We're going to keep creating some really fun caging. The Halla lends itself really well to this type of, of movement. And I'm just going to keep building and building upon creating some interesting lines with caging. I can use some of the smaller pieces that I've cut off already and add. And the effect that we're trying to achieve is to pretty much base this in completely with our Halla foliage so that we don't have a lot of foam showing. Because we're going to be adding minimal flowers to this design. It's really going to be about the Halla and all of the wonderful lines that it's creating. Another fun technique with the Halla foliage is that you can split it and actually feed it through and do some weaving. It's really great for this kind of work. You can do this on bridal bouquets and all sorts of things. But it'll just hold its spot right where you put it. So this completes creating the structure with our Halla foliage. As you can see, we've only used the Halla foliage. We've created a great grid work. Now we're ready to put in some fresh product. I've got fresh lotus pods. These are going to make a wonderful statement. I'm going to tuck some of them down in deep. These are going to help to create a focal point. And we can let a few of them cascade down and follow our cascade. It also helps to balance a casket piece if you do add some weight to the back of the arrangement. Otherwise, it'll be very top heavy and want to fall forward. I'm also going to add some Crispidia balls. I am letting the Crispidia balls come a little bit higher than my foliage so that they really stand out. And every now and then, I'm having to poke through some of the Halla foliage so I can make my insertion where I need it to be. We've created some great movement just with these three elements. I'm going to go ahead and add just a punch of color and then this casket piece will be ready for delivery.
The pincushion protea are perfect with all the textures that we're already using. Now is the time when we really need to be careful inserting into our foam because we don't want that foam to start to break apart and on us. Can tuck some very deep for some nice depth. And just a few of my favorite roses, the circus rose, are going to complete this design. So I hope with this design, I've inspired you to do the same, to work with your clients, to offer something new and different, to think outside of the box when it comes to sympathy work. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.